more than last year. So Bree, some people still excited that they might be able to get a little bit more spring skiing in if they want to travel. Yeah, right? and you might even see some real life raccoon faces today because I saw a lot of sunburns coming down Tans, from Bogus yeah. yesterday. Yeah, wearing their goggles so they didn't get the tan here, but it was gorgeous and a lot of sunshine throughout our entire Easter. 73 degrees was our high in Boise, 74 in Ontario and also in Twin Falls hitting that 74 degree mark. Look at some of these temperatures in the mountains even. 63 for a high in McCall, 60 degrees in Stanley. You just can't beat it, especially for this time of year. And look how lucky we were. 73 in Boise, compare that to just 68 down in Southern California. Of course, it was 90 in Phoenix, but take a look at some of the East Coast temperatures. New York City, high of 55 yesterday. In Minneapolis, just 42 is a high. Bismarck, North Dakota, 33 degrees. So most people wishing that they could take a vacation right here to the City of Trees. Just beautiful. And if you've been sleeping in throughout spring break, you may have forgotten how cool 46 degrees can feel. So on the way out to the bus, stop today. Make sure you grab a jacket. A band of showers moving through. You can see that with live Doppler right now. It's kind of stretching from a line from Jordan Valley down to Southern Twin Falls County, and that's migrating from the southeast up towards the Treasure Valley, although I think it will dissipate before it hits Boise. Just don't be surprised if you head through your day seeing some of those sprinkles. It's all due to a low pressure system sort of centered right over Reno, and as that tracks to the east, we're getting that wraparound moisture. Low pressure, of course, it rotates in that counterclockwise direction. So moving to the east, it's driving that moisture in from the southeast. That will make for a slight chance of some afternoon showers or thunderstorms even right here in the Treasure Valley. Winds picking up this afternoon as we see the transition from that low pressure to a high pressure ridge. So 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds in the afternoon. And the temperatures not as warm as yesterday, but still in the mid to upper 60s in the Treasure Valley, also in the Magic Valley, even in those mountain locations, West Central Mountains, seeing very nice temperatures once again today, even in the Long Valley, McCall, Donnelly in those upper 50s, slight chance of afternoon thunderstorms and showers all around southern Idaho. East Central Mountains seeing those very similar temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, just gorgeous for this time of year. March certainly did come in like a lion and out like a lamb, and we enjoy those gorgeous 70 degree temperatures through Thursday, and then we get a change up. More unsettled weather that joins us for the weekend. April showers, but of course they mean May flowers so we can hope and the temperatures cooling back off to more seasonable averages for this time of year 58 degrees on Sunday yes it looks cool but that's right where we should be Wow, so we actually have been enjoying, that's not quite unusual what we've been seeing, how warm. You know what, well above normal. I was explaining to somebody at the coffee shop this week and they said, oh, it's beautiful, but this is the way it always is. No, like, uh -uh. it's actually about 10 to 15 degrees above average for and this And then they're like, who are you? I'm like, well, actually, I'm Brie Eggers, so I would know a thing or two about this. 